You may already been in a situation where you want to animate something in 3D, but it just doesn't sit right because it looks like the floor is non-existent and the character is just floating in the air. But let me show you guys how to fix it and how to create a floor in 3D inside of After Effects. So first what you'll need to do is simply select your subject and put it into another layer. So from now this is nothing new. So let's just fix the mask a little bit more. Now simply make sure to delete the character from the original picture, like so. Now this is the important part. So now what you're going to have to do is simply select the wall like this, and you're going to put it into a different layer, and you're going to delete the wall from the original layer. So just like that. Now there's only the floor, but the floor, we're going to have to extrude it. So simply do that, Control T, and simply shift stretch the floor like that it looks weird now but it'll make sense after after we import it all inside of after effects so is i so this is how your photoshop file should look simply save it simply import your photoshop file inside of after effects now what you're gonna have to do is simply make everything in 3d so you can do that with 3d5 pro link will be in the description with this plugin you can simply make everything in 3d with the button of a click like this now what we're gonna do is simply pull out the second view and you're gonna have to select the floor and simply try to rotate it like so make sure it's 90 at the 90 degrees angle like that now what you're gonna have to do essentially is try to navigate into your second view to see what's going on back there and now what you're gonna have to do is simply try to make it stick to the wall like this. Now once this is stuck to the wall, you can go back to your first view and you can stretch the floor texture like so. And let's just adjust the camera a little bit. And you can also make sure that your character is standing on the floor. So as you can see, it's not staying on the floor at all. So pull out the second view again and try to make him stand on the floor as you can see he's clipping through the floor so he is in fact standing on the floor just make sure to scale him down a little bit now if you want to add a little bit more of realism we're gonna have to add some shadows so let's do that right now you can simply duplicate the subject and rotate him like this at the 90 degrees angle so he can be linked to the floor. Um, like that. Now do a right click and go on layer style. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply click on the color overlay and make sure to put the color overlay to black. Now simply put a, put a Gaussian blur effect to the shadow like this. And you can play around with the opacity if you want to. Now, when you're gonna have to animate your camera, when you put it, and now when you're gonna have to animate your camera, it will simply look realistic because you have a floor. It's as simple as that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't hesitate to leave a like. And if you guys wanna know more about tips and tricks on 3D cameras in After Effects, don't hesitate to watch this video about depth of field because it can really make or break an animation. I'll see you guys there. Thank <laughs> you.